Okay, so example 13 in our Vectors topic, uh, there was the last video example 12 was quite a long introduction to how we come up with the equation of a plane. And in example 12, I kind of gave you the two different forms, vector form and uh, Cartesian form. In truth, we don't need to do vector form. Uh, usually, we can jump straight into the Cartesian equation of the plane. I'm going to show you how to do it when you know three points that lie on the plane. Okay, so first of all, I normally draw a, a diagram, and as I said before, normally a, a, a parallelogram representing the the plane, a kind of rectangle in three dimensions. So you may want to do that. I tend to draw a picture like that, um, and then I'll maybe draw uh, a normal vector uh, like that. And let's just get the pen uh, back. So I, I usually write the n for normal vector. I always start off with that. And I've got three points on the line. Now, they could be anywhere, but I tend to represent one point where it meets the normal vector. So we'll call that point A. Uh, and I'll, I'll mark any other points. There's B and there's C. Okay. So the idea being that we want to think about uh, two other vectors. And that will be the vector A to B, like that. Uh, and then a vector from A to C. And you can see we've got that arrangement. In the previous example, we got given the vectors. Uh, that are on the plane, but in this case we're going to have to create them. And we've got this arrangement where we've got three vectors and the normal is going to be perpendicular to both AB and to AC. So first of all what we've got to do is actually work out what those two vectors AB and AC are. So we're going to go through uh, the, the routine, hopefully you'll know that by now. We want to find vector AB, which is position vector B minus position vector A. I'm going to turn these coordinates into position vectors by making them into column vectors here. So that's uh, column matrices. So we've got B is negative, oh, so 1, negative 3, and negative 3. And we're going to subtract from that A, which is negative 1, 3, and 1. And the uh, difference of that, 1 minus negative 1 is 2, negative 6. And we've got negative 4 is vector AB. Uh, vector AC can be calculated in exactly the same way. Uh, it's going to be position vector C minus position vector A. C becomes 3, negative 1, 5. Position vector A is still negative 1, 3, 1. And that resultant vector is 4, negative 4, 4. Okay. Now, because these are, are, are direction vectors, we're not really interested in their magnitude. It's absolutely fine at any point to uh, effectively simplify those vectors by taking out a common factor. So it would actually be fine and often easier to think of, uh, if we take a common factor of 2, we would have neg two, 2 times negative w 1, negative 3, negative 2. And in this case here, of course, we could take 4 as a common factor, and you'd have 1, negative 1, 1. And in my mind, uh, we w it's easier to use vectors with smaller numbers uh, on it at any point, just like we use for simplified fractions. Okay, so when it comes to thinking about AB, I'm actually going to use just this, and for AC, I'm going to just use that vector there. But you can g you get the same answer if you use the full uh, vectors that you've just worked out. Okay, um, so I'm going to then say so we've got uh, AB and AC. We want to work out the um, normal vector, so we need to find the uh, and n is going to be AB cross. We need to find the vector product. Okay, so I, I'm going to say here. I'm just going to say use 1, negative 3, negative 2. And here I'm going to say use 1, negative 1, 1. Okay? So we've got this idea of vector AB cross AC. So we do that by saying it's I, J, and K. And we do the first, it doesn't matter which order we put them in, but we've got 1, negative 3, negative 2, and 1, negative 1, 1. 
And if I do that, you'll have your own system for uh, working out the vector product. Uh, mine is just to kind of create uh, our little brackets here. And I know that I'm going to do negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 minus negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. Uh, for j, I'm going to look at the columns i and k. So we've got 1 times 1 is 1. Subtract 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. So that becomes plus 2. And for k, I'm going to look at columns i and j. So 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Subtract 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. We get that. So it gives us altogether negative 5i minus 3j. And we've got plus 2k. Okay, again, if you could take a common factor, then do so. But we're basically saying that I, the, 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 the normal vector is negative 5, negative 3, 2. So when it comes to actually the equation of our plane, let's write that out. Equation of plane. So we always actually start with the vector form, which is n dot r is equal to n dot a. Okay, that's the equivalent of writing out y equals mx plus c or uh, or y minus b equals m times x minus a for the general uh, equation of, of, a, of a line in two dimensions. We've got to get a starting point here and it's helpful just to do that. We're going to go with Cartesian equation straight away, which means we can put in our uh, vectors that we know. So we know that n is negative 5, negative 3 and positive 2. And we know dot, we know that r is our kind of variables x, y, z. We can repeat n on the other side, negative 5, negative 3, 2. And a is a point on the line. Well, we know uh, three points on the line. So here, although it says a, you don't have to use, in this case, point a, because you may not have any point a. It's just any uh, anyone. So I'm going to say use uh, negative 1, 3, 1. Okay, uh, and you'll get different, uh, the, the thing is you'll get different answers depending on which point you use, but it will still be a correct solution. So here we've got our two uh, scalar product calculations to do. The left hand side uh, gives us negative 5x minus 3y plus 2z is equal to, on the right hand side we've got negative 5 times negative 1 is 5 plus negative 9, <coughs> excuse me, plus 2, and we get negative 5x minus 3y plus 2z is equal to 5, take away 9 is negative 4, plus 2 is negative 2. Now, last thing, and it's kind of an important little form, we always write the equation of a plane with a positive x term at the beginning. And so if you end up with a negative, that's absolutely fine. All you need to do is multiply the whole equation by negative 1, and we end up with 5x plus 3y minus 2z is equal to 2. And that's the equation of the plane. Okay, so what did we do to recap? Uh, we sketched the diagram at the beginning. It's always a good thing to do uh, to see what we've got. We've got three points on the plane. I made one at the foot of the normal vector so that we could make an arrangement of three vectors uh, from one point. Uh, B and C were just nominally elsewhere, which meant that I could generate two vectors going uh, from A out to B and C. I found uh, those two vectors. We found the normal vector using the vector product, and then we used the, the, the vector equation of a plane form to substitute in all the different vectors to get the Cartesian equation of the plane. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful. Uh, keep practicing. Uh, and we'll, we'll nail this equation of plane stuff. But as I said, if you're checking answers, if you've got solutions to problems you're working with, uh, if you use a different point, you will get a different answer. That doesn't mean it's wrong. It just means it's a different form of the correct equation, which is a wee bit confusing. We're used to mathematics to have one correct answer. In this uh, type of um, work here, there are there's more than one correct solution. And remember, just finally, the whole point of the equation of a plane is exactly the same as the equation of a line. That any point that lies on the plane 
if you substitute in their coordinates, should make the equation true. Well, just to make a point of it, if c is a point 3, negative 1, 5, uh, let's just have a look. If we put in 5 times 3 plus 3 times negative 1, uh, minus 2 times 5. Do you see how what I've done there? I've taken the equation of a plane on the left-hand side and I've taken the x and y and z coordinates of a point that I know lies on this plane. And if I work all that out, I get 15 minus 3 minus 10, which is 2. Okay? If we substituted in the, the x, y and z coordinates of point B, we would get 2. So literally every point that lies on the plane, uh, if you put it into that equation, will generate the answer to, and that's effectively why it works. Okay, hope that's been helpful.